Okay, so we have discussed many times NDB questions and have always used the method of converting RDG into an RMI to solve all the test questions, rather than using the formula magnetic heading plus relative bearing equals magnetic bearing. Now we're going to do sort of the opposite for this commercial test question and convert an RMI back into a fixed card ADF. So first, as usual, let's take a look at the question. It says, refer to figure 16. If the aircraft continues its present heading, as shown in instrument group 3, what will be the relative bearing to the station when the aircraft reaches the magnetic bearing of 030 from the NDB? As usual, the question can sound confusing, just to start with, and that's, you know, as usual, the FA's way of trying to trick you. So, what are they actually asking? They're asking, let's look at this, this instrument, instrument 16, and if we continue flying this heading, when we reach a magnetic bearing from the station of 030, what is the actual relative bearing? Who cares? I don't know. But we need to be able to answer the question on the test, so we're going to have to see how to do it. In real life, once you have the magnetic bearing, why would you care about the relative bearing? That's just, it, it doesn't make any sense. You wouldn't ever have to do that because the magnetic bearing is what you need to fly to the station or away from the station. That's the number you need. You don't need the relative bearing. But again, for the sake of the test, let's answer the question. The possible answers are 240, 030, and 060. So, again, if we convert figure 16 into an RMI by placing the needle's tail on 030, because that is the magnetic bearing from that the question talks about. And now we draw out a fixed card ADF. We can now tra transfer the needle from the RMI to the fixed card ADF, as shown from the animation. Now all that's left to do is read the number shown on the head of the needle inside the fixed card ADF, because the question asked the relative bearing to the station. And voila, the answer is 240. So 240 is the relative bearing to the station, and also our correct answer. If the answer is, had asked what is the relative bearing from the station, then it would be the tail. So we read the number on the tail, and that would be 060. And if you liked the video and would like to see more, or would like to make a test run of our software, please visit passfaexams.com slash free-demo-downloads and find out for yourself how we can really help you ace this written exam.